First and foremost, I want to give all praises and all glory to the true and living power, which is Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rekah Kuadash. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai is the true name of His only begotten Son, and there is no God beside them. And I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, definitely rule well, who've taught us 100% truth of the scriptures, and honors and citations to the hopeful elect. So, I want to get into this um, news article right, well, this what article right here. It says, is lab-grown salmon safe? Salmon, salmon, whatever, however you want to say it. Let me put this, because uh, I got a... Uh, See, and, and, and this is why you gotta. Sh this is why we gotta strike while the iron is hot, man. You know, I truly, truly learned that. Strike while the iron is hot. If you have a fiery, fiery spirit, it's best to strike while the iron is hot. <clears throat> you know, if you got like a fiery spirit on a, on a news article you came across, or you know, you how I soak with you in the spirit, blessed you with a beautiful point, beautiful realization. Strike while the iron is hot. Do the lesson immediately. Know that I'm learning for myself. So, uh, because yeah, I, I seen in this this other news article. Now I can't find it, but this one pretty much is is reiterating the same thing almost. So uh, let me get into this news article. Well, this article Salakia, but pretty much the other one was going into how it's 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 already being. You know, the lab based salmon is like being sold now on a higher level or whatever. So it says, Is lab grown salmon safe? It says, Lab grown salmon is a new and innovative approach to seafood that has been gaining attention in recent years. This process involves, oh, and I see in another news article that says that they're starting to invest beginning in this year, 2023, they're starting to invest billions. In this lab-grown salmon, lab lab-grown seafood business, period. So, I mean, come on, man. Even though you, even though you're not, we're not supposed to eat crab, shrimp, lobster. They're gonna start making that too. Lab-grown, you know, amongst all this other type of fish. So, yeah, it says this process involves creating salmon, and I got some scriptures in mind as well. This process involves creating salmon in a laboratory setting using cell cultures rather than relying on traditional fishing or farming practices. Right? It says, uh, lab-grown salmon offers a sustainable and environmental-friendly alternative to traditional salmon farming, which is often criticized for its negative impact on the environment. Now, I want to stop right there. And, yeah, that's pretty much... I'm going to stop right there at that point, right there. See, the so-called white man is a... Oh, my good... And I, I was immediately thinking about IUIC. You know, talking about we don't hate Edomites. He gives you a job. You're going right, to go right to work and say hi. So you need to be thankful for him. He giving you a job, right? Look, man, the Lord deals with nations. The Lord deals with nations, man. So, let me get that matter of fact in the book of uh, um, Malachi. Right? Because we're not worried about low level devils. You know, we're not worried about six pack Joes who we go to work with. Who's in a rat race to go to the plantation just like we are. We're not worried about them, man. We're not concerned with them. And one more quick thing before I get the scripture. When when you play a video game, say you play in Tekken, or you play in NBA 2K, or you play in Madden. Any game. Say, say you say you master that game, man. You're gonna play what? At the hardest level. You're not gonna waste your time playing on rookie. Like 2K, they got they got rookie. You're not gonna waste your time playing on rookie. You're not concerned with rookie difficulty. 
No, your level of playing field would be, um, I think it's All Star is the highest one. No, Superstar. So we're concerned with, with, with these elites. With these elites, man. And you absolutely, you absolutely should uh. Uh, uh, H them. So this is Malachi one and four. So without further ado, Salakia so says, "Whereas Edom saith, we are impoverished, but we will return." Oh, Salakia, so what am I doing? Malachi one and three. I'll start at. And I hated Esau and laid his mountains and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. See. Whereas Edom saith, we are impoverished. But we will return and build the desolate places. Thus saith the Lord, power of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down, and they shall call them the border of wickedness, and the people against whom the Lord hath indignation forever. See? So the Lord H, I shall not speak like that so I don't get a strike. He H all the people of Edom. He hates all the people of Edom, okay? Even the six pack Joes. All right, now that's not to say we're gonna, um, you know, do do anything about it. But we we still do have that that feeling. All right, within us, because why they're the border of wickedness, man. So I was thinking about how they're they're doing this lab made some they're already selling the lab made chicken but something really pisses me off that's my fit that's my favorite fish and it's so and it's healthy for you man it's so healthy for you right and here it is he wants to take these things that are healthy for you <laughs> okay and destroy it And he wants to destroy it, man. And take all its nutri nutrients away from, from you receiving that. So here it is. You're trying to do the right thing. And this goddamn devil, let me get that, let me get that scripture. Hey, did you you you're trying to eat healthy? You trying to do the right thing. And he's making it harder and harder and harder, man. But then but then going back to the point of how well, let me just get this so lock it. Psalm 94 and 20. Shall the throne of iniquity have fellowship with thee, which frameth mischief by a law? See? So it's the F FDA that ultimately they're passing laws, so to speak, by giving the approval of these horrific fucking uh, scientists, man. These damn inventors of Frankenstein food, giving them the go ahead to be able to sell it, man. Even them. Which ultimately really took, you know, talking about the elites passing these, passing these laws down, okay, like, uh, like making it okay for you to be a mole, moles can get married, and so forth, but these guys too, man, pay them the way for this disgusting, horrible food, so, like, come on, man, how do you not H somebody like that, who's trying to, every, every day, matter of fact, let me get that. And um, my fr uh, real quick before I go there, I want to backtrack real quick to um, uh, Psalms 55, because you see how they you see how they tried to bring out the point. Oh, it's more sustainable and environmental. Shut, shut the fuck up, man. Excuse my French, yo. Sometimes, man, it just gets you tight, yo. Sometimes this devil just gets you fucking tight, man. You know what? <laughs> All right, it's so lucky. Yeah, I, I, I got got to bring this out on benefit to song. I, I love salmon, man. You know, I know how to make my own <laughs> uh, salmon jerky and all of that, yo. Instead of beef jerky like me, I know how to come on. I love I love salmon anyway. It says it's full of omega three fatty acids. It's packed with protein, which just lets them, you know, go on a lot longer. I dig into each of these things. So you know for time time's sake. And I'm 
get pushing, but pack with protein. You know, I know protein helps you with it, with your muscle recovery, right? So you working out, you eating a lot of salmon, you won't get it as as sore. So it's rich in vitamins and sel selenium. It may reduce inflammation. You know, you know, inflammation is a killer. It can help with weight management. It can help regulate sleep. And then here it is. These fucking devils want to um, hinder that and give you some complete BS fake bullshit, man. You're not going to be able to eat healthy no more. It's going to be impossible to, to, to be healthy, man. And so I just want to go back to how they said lab-grown salmon offers a sustainable and environmental-friendly alternative to traditional salmon farming, which is often criticized for its negative impact on the environment. You know, which that's that's wicked as hell, too. Salmon, salmon farming. Because you're only putting GMOs in there anyway. But we see, as it says in 2 Timothy, evil people and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. So farm-raised salmons was, was, was already abominable as it, as it was, man. But this is that place that, that, that lived deliciously. Always trying to, everybody always trying to make the best of the, uh, the best available, man. <laughs> you know, uh, really living on the on the East Coast, we really wouldn't, wouldn't be tasting no damn Pacific salmon. But so, let me get back into it. It says uh, Psalms uh, fifty-five and uh, twenty. He hath put forth his hands against such as be at peace with him. He hath broken his covenant. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil, yet were they drawn swords, see? And he remains in the spirit. The devil don't change. Hey, the Most High said that, I am the Lord, therefore you sons of Jacob are not consumed. I change not. So Malachi 3 and 6. Yahweh I said that he's the same yesterday, today, and forever. The hopeful elect, they don't change. The spirit of the prophets is subject unto the prophets. So, so the wicked, they don't change either. The scripture say, can a, you know, can he, change, he do good that's accustomed to doing evil? So they're coming in the same spirit. So trying to pave the way to justify some bullshit lab grown salmon, man. This is complete BS, bro. But then here it is. You don't got an H. An H to the A to the T E for them. When they're trying to destroy you through your through your through your through the foods. Through the food. They're always plotting and planning against you to, to conquer you. You know, they're the reason why your family's fucked up. You know? Out of order. They're the reason why all of your people are fucked up, man. Because they plot behind 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 closed doors, pulling strings to continually keep us in sin. Okay? Which of course our people have to take the blame too for their own uh, actions as well. But then you got this devil guiding it, making sure that it that it that it continues. But here it is, you don't have an H to the A to the T E for them. And they're and they're fucking up your food source, man. Look what they did with, with, with Gad. They killed off all the buffalo. They'll pay you to kill buffalo. Killing off the food source. Amongst the other things they used it for, man. And you don't have an H to the A to the T E for them? They're getting ready to microchip you, man. So that that's why he could be a god over you. You won't even be able to worship you. How about Mount Shai anymore? All the beautiful faith boosters, the beautiful testimonies, that'll be done with, man. 
So low will and this is edifying. With that, I want to say shalom.